guess it's time to record day two. We're at Bernie Falls State Park, MacArthur Bernie Falls State Park. I'll just zoom in here as we're right across from it. It is definitely a national park. Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> I'm feeling hot. We're definitely a change of pace versus Sundal Bridge and Downtown Riding and Shasta Dam. -ish. It's actually a little bit more lively here, I think, because it's like more known. And plus, you're about 30, 40 miles to Lassen, which would be our next stop. So I'm just like showing you around the visitor center. Uh, heads up, 10 bucks for the car. Uh, unless if you have, or like you're in our family who have a senior, it's a dollar off at nine dollars. And if my thing works, that'd be great. Cool. It's actually pretty nice here. If it wasn't for the heat. I know, it feels like... What does this feel like? Not really Yellowstone. Right? But more like Yosemite. Right? No, they're big. Big <laughs> At least the Bernie Falls is like right there. And then the base is like 1.3 and then the loop is 1... No, base is 0.3. The loop is 1.2. And also bathroom is that way. Cabin constructed in 1935 by the Civilian Conservation Corps restored by Friends of Falls. 94. Interesting. Civilian Conservation Corps. Oh, I see. Is basically depression area things actually. So just like um, there's a Hoovernomics and then like all of like the big building projects that were there, Roosevelt kind of kept it along and kept working for having a lot of people to work during the depression, such as building and maintaining parks. That's pretty cool. So I guess like this is like one of them. I don't know if they. I don't think like they built the building. Um, over here this looks a little bit more modern but like just maintaining parks like this creating parks with like natural features you know like natural features like trees the falls and whatnot it's pretty awesome should be somewhere here I hear it where is it Oh, that's a lot. Uh -huh. Oh, there it is. Always do here. Where are you standing now? Is this a ball? Present position. Where are you? Wow, so three million years in the making, huh? 
doesn't sound as grand as Idaho Falls back in Idaho and um, uh, Shoshone Park, but this has some character for being a pretty all the way down there. I'm standing in a new position, I don't want to drop this thing, so. a little bit of a hike around there but it's really 150 feet away just for the overlook so for those who thinks it's kind of hard to get here no it's not it's a really easy place to just come up if you want to get down to the base of the falls like where everyone else is down there 0.3 miles but it's quite the trek it's pretty steep from where we're at right now i got a squirrel coming around here again where is it squirrel Okay, there it is. Wow, I'm terrible at this. So maybe we'll make an attempt to go down to Paul's oh. Ooh. Oh god. <laughs> that is some crystal blue water though. All the way down there. That is quite the trip, if you think about it, because I think there's a staircase over here. It will take a bit to get down there, but we'll see how far we get. Who knows, we may not make it. Ma, that's a big staircase all the way. It's a big staircase all the way down. Yeah. Yeah, for those who want to know, it's pretty down there. It doesn't look like in the camera, but it, it, it goes pretty down there. It'd be nice, but oops. baby steps. Now these shoes does not like this. No, does not. It feels weird where walking with these shoes. I want to go here. It's a railing. <laughs> oh wow, that is steep. Oh, I think that's the only steps, that's why. Yeah, we just encountered a couple steps up that way. It's quite a bit of steps that way, so I didn't record that. But this way is just a pretty sharp hill downwards. <laughs> but it's not steep. That one was steep. More than meets the eye. Large trees and scenic wildfire spectacular. Da -da -da. Oh, you got the, you got your wildlife. Mountain lion, bat, and badgers. Move here. Ah, okay. Got a lot of trees around this way. Some water down there too. Try to take the whole way down there. There we go. Don't get me wrong, this is really cool over here. I'm trying to stabilize it. It just felt like so much better down here compared to up there. It's quite cool. <laughs>
gonna be taking here of pictures, so give me a bit. As we continue to go. That is pretty amazing. I think the only thing that makes it better is because you could get closer compared to Idaho Falls. But still, Idaho Falls. Shoshone Falls, wrong one. It's still quite a uh, spectacular, spectacular spectacle to behold. There we go. Maybe here it gets even better. Honestly, we don't know where we are. <laughs> We're just outside of Lassen. The panoramic point of Lassen National Forest. Wow, it's windy here. Who knows what is over here? What's the first sign? Just walk like not too far because who knows who will be here. In uh, 1961. Wow, okay. So these are all trees from the past 50 years. There's cactus. Cactus over there. She's gonna keep going. I'm gonna stay right here just in case. It's so eerie. Think about it. Oh, it is the trees. Just admire the beauty. It's a lot of birds, though. Guys, if you see anything, post a comment down below <laughs> for a timestamp. So we could try and find something. Except for my mom, which is right, it's like right there. <laughs> oh, back. Fifty two years. Understandable. Uh, for those who want to know, this is in the middle of the, this is somewhere in between Old Station and Lassen Volcanic Lassen National Park entrance on 89 and 44. And for one reason or another, you actually do want to like find peace and tranquility in these street in this forest. Go for it. it. Actually, does feel a lot cooler here when the sun's not out. It's windy too. So, next stop is Lassen Volcanic National Park. It's technically, this that technically encompasses the bigger Lassen National Forest. And somewhere there, somewhere over there, like right there, 
I think that's last. That, that's the peak of Lassen. Um, where we're heading right now is Manzanita Lake. Technically, I think it's like about an hour, an hour and a half hike around the lake to not get only the view of the lake, but the view of Mount Lassen itself. So this is just right outside of um, the park entrance gate. And as with any park entrance gate or er, park entrance here in the United States, it's 35 bucks to get in. Um, but you can also get your annual pa annual eh, annual passes for 80 bucks, or senior lifetime for 80 bucks, or senior annual for 20. So just want to explore around, take in the sights, sit, sights and sounds, all that stuff. It's just right here. Right off 4489. This summer fall only. And that is a loop. 1.8 miles. Enthusiastic enthusiasts and families. Some big one. Can you do it? Huh, some places here. Just go around. Right, ask it. Huh, I'll think sorry. about it. If it's only 1.8 miles, then it's yeah. no game. Alright, I got you. So, for those who want to know, Lassen is a dormant volcano. Yeah, so. so, there's like some volcanic senses, I guess here just like a heads up right here give it a read pause and whatnot Ooh, stargazing I guess some places uh, I, I figured as much would be very beautiful around here people the land ah so those are our neighbor units we're looking at around this area so yeah that's what the peak looks like and basically again it's hiding right behind the ranger station somewhere there <laughs> lands of think lands of volcanoes oh okay i've heard this is quite the drive this is a road you could see how crazy it can get especially Oh, but the road does hit Lassen Peak, which is only 10,000 feet. But like mom said it was 14, so uh, who is right? <laughs> so I guess it last erupted back in 1915, so 106 years at least at the time of recording. Well, unfortunately, my dad, I don't think, would be willing to drive up that way, so. We'll see what we could find. See what we can get. Ah, so he's the person that was the. What's the word? Founded this park, really. is around here. Obviously there are restrictions and whatnot. I'm gonna stop grinding and see what we got. And let's see if we'll do a hike. Alright, see you guys. Next clip. Take a right. Right. Counterclockwise. Well, so this way so actually. This, yeah. It goes it goes the, to the right first. Ah, so you can actually cut you can cut short and then go around if you don't want to walk the whole thing. Basically, walk all the way to the, you know where the gate entrance was? Yeah. And then we could just turn back. Bye. I should start this way. I'd be weird, it'd be weird if it's not this way. Because <laughs> it like forks off here or down there. Whatever. Oh, it's windy. It's actually ah dusty. 
I'll kind of keep recording. We'll see what we'll get. Hopefully I don't have big footage to edit, which most likely I will. I hear water. I don't know where it is though. Somewhere here. Thank God I wore my dark shoes. There was one of the dark Ooh, I almost turned my thing off. Dark shoes. I can't see its reflection. There you go. <laughs> No lie, it feels really, really good over here. It's nice and cold, not oddly enough. Probably because of the trees and the lake and the staplers are being down right now. Not the ladder, but. <laughs> All I'm gonna say is wear sensible shoes when you're walking through here. It's gravel but it's very loose gravel so um, during inclines and declines you may slip so just be careful when you do walk around here as always ah we're getting close to some water here probably will start have to start seeing something cool maybe we'll see <laughs> I saw something blue and clear right around the corner oh well, it's roped off right there lame Ooh, it's cold here. Very cold. Where does the trail go? That's the question. Oh, I see it. Interesting. That's your trail. Goes right around there. <gasps> There's a duck. I think I said duck. There it is. Oh man. I'm trying my best to zoom in. Maybe there's a clear. No, not only there's a clear way. But what? Duck, 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 duck. Where is it? Where'd it go? I see the tree. It's like right around here somewhere. There it is, I think. I'll try to find a duck later. Yeah, careful of rock rocks. Don't do a me and record at the same time. Watch your way as you walk around. And yeah, wear sensible shoes. Probably hiking boots would actually make a lot more sense than runners. But you know. There it is. Duck 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 Ah There's ducks. Cause why not? I could technically walk there, but I don't think they would want me to do that. Ducks. Yeah. I swear this is gonna be a whole trip about ducks. Oh, they're eating, they're eating, they're eating. That's cool. Ooh, it's cold here. I thought someone was swimming. Oh, nice and windy over here. Before I start fuddling with my thing again, here's the view back. We're actually gonna walk back right now. I can see a last right here. Just wish it was with you. Wish it wasn't for all the big cheese around this area. That blocks the view, but I guess we'll see what we can get. I'll stop recording now so I can get to where we need to go. Cause it's pretty rocky. <laughs> I need to take it safe, so. See you guys in the next clip. I'm gonna go handheld for a bit. Apparently this is the bridge literally right next to the restrooms and the thing as we came back. It's a nice little concrete bridge over the water. Fast moving creek down here. Supposedly that goes all the way to Manzanita Lake, so call it the Manzanita Creek. <laughs> How fitting. Well, this is basically the other way, other way of the path that eventually leads you to the park or the other side of Manzanita and the campgrounds actually. I don't know if I'm ready to walk through all that sunshine because it's pretty hot aside from being nice and cool here in the shade.
Well, we'll see. I'll see what I'll do. See what's over there. And report back if there's anything. If not, we'll be back in the car montaging. If that's the case. See you guys back probably at Reading. Once we find something good with... If I can find Mount Masson right now. <laughs> Somewhere there. Alright, see you guys in the next clip. Well, this is probably going to be the best view of last and you'll ever see from here. Just right off the bridge, and there's a pathway to the right going to Manzanita Lake, is the peak of Mount Lassen. It's time to take some pictures. So I just realized I didn't really create an outro after leaving Lassen National Park, and mainly everything I recorded after Lassen were just recording the road as I always do as you notice from the beginning of the video and in the middle as we go to last and uh, I had nothing else and I forgot to record an outro where we're staying at or at last or wherever I thought I had more clips but I guess I didn't so this will be its outro it was a quite a nice day the day after summer solstice to just visit Bernie Falls what a pretty falls <laughs> As well as Lassen, very shy Lassen, could not figure out how to find Lassen in the big trees, at least where we were. Um, I know for the fact my dad would not want to drive that weird treacherous road that goes all the way around through Lassen's Peak, so we didn't bother to do that. Um, but we managed to find Lassen Peak, Lassen's Peak, and took a couple pictures, it's on my Instagram, I think. I uploaded it, hopefully I remembered to upload it. And basically that was the rest of the trip. Went after Lassen, we just headed straight home, grabbed, straight home, straight to our hotel, Grab some lunch, relax, and then basically the next day we just went home. It was only three hours away from where we live, also three hours away from Sacramento. So if you're within the Northern California area, feel free to visit Redding. Hopefully it's not too hot. At the time of recording, we were experiencing a heat wave, so it's probably going to be hot over there. Visit it maybe during like the fall if you're not inclined for the heat, because sometimes summer solstice could be such an iffy time. Sometimes it could be okay to go there to you know go to Sundial Bridge and then experience that whole experience but sometimes it could be going up to 110 degrees Fahrenheit which is like around like 40 50 degrees Celsius which is crazy if you want to visit the place in general like Reading, Bernie Falls, Lassen and if you have the time go to Mount Shasta which is like I think 60 minutes 60 miles north of Bernie Falls so not too bad of a drive if you're up for the whole day of driving definitely give it a visit it's quite local at least if you're in the northern California area or if you're up heading towards Oregon, Washington, or heading down towards California, give yourself a day, stop by Reading, visit all the places around, and then continue on your trip. It's definitely worth recommend. And hey, I feel like that's a place that a lot of people are starting to know more of. I'm hoping, you know, even more people outside of from California and Oregon and whatnot can visit these places because they're quite pretty. <laughs> like they're just as pretty as like the main, you know, the main big parks like Yellowstone, Grand Canyon, all that stuff, you know, Lassen and just around the northern, very northern California area has its charm for its scenery and nature. For now, that's the rest of the travel vlogs at the moment. I'm not too sure if we're going to be traveling to Eureka and visit more big trees and the coast in a couple weeks time, at least at the time of recording. So, you know, be on the lookout for that. I'll be updating that on Twitter. For the, hopefully for the most part if you want follow me on twitter i'll keep you guys updated with more of these travel vlogs hopefully well there will be more soon pending about like work and all that stuff and yeah but if you guys do enjoy these videos feel free to subscribe to my channel give this video a like and all that fun stuff leave a comment if you have any suggestions of where we should go around california aside from like the main big things like la san francisco eh. you know like if there's like other parks or any quirky parks that are around the area you know pop a comment down below in any case i hope you guys have a great day or night or wherever the heck you are and see you guys whatever the next video will be this is spam weights see ya